Good day, shambolic smugglers substituting for stray stars. I'm on silent, and we're on the air with Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. This is 1996's N64 classic, uh, released on PC in 1997, just recently up on GOG, which is how we're able to play it nowadays. This isn't one of those secret old Star Wars games that I happen to have a copy of. No, I've never played it apart from uh, about this first level to get the um, get my recording set up, and uh, even then I died on the first level. So let's see how this goes, because it's probably going to go spectacularly poorly. We're starting a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. What? There's... So... Actually, I was going to say that, oh, this has got the great original John Williams soundtrack, but actually so did the N64 version of the game. I believe this is ported from the original, or ported, air quotes, from the original PC version. So let's read The Crawl. It is a time of crisis, Imperial probes scouring the galaxy for the hidden rebel base have discovered their outpost on the remote ice world of Hoth. Darth Vader, obsessed with finding Luke Skywalker, has sent his forces to engage the rebels in battle. With the dreaded Imperial Starfleet approaching, a lone freighter has entered the Hoth system. Who, oh who, could this lone freighter belong to? Outrider to Echo Base, please respond. Captain, I've established contact with the Rebel Outpost on Hoth. This is Dash Rendar. Tell the Princess I've got that shipment of assault blasters she's been waiting for. Copy, Outrider. We've been expecting it. You are clear to land at Base 3. Well, that's, um, you can tell it is a 20-year-old game. Now, it's convenient that they have those two ships in the sh same shot. Dash Rendar's Outrider there as we float past the Millennium Falcon. And into those transports before they take off. I just found out the Empire is about to ruin our day. Han Solo told me that Imperial walkers have been spotted on the East Ridge. I'm going to jump into a speeder and help Rogue Group slow them down. You'll pardon me for saying so, Captain, but it's been quite some time since you've flown an airspeeder in combat. And don't get your servos in a twist, pal. Just make sure you collect the money for this load by the time I get back. And be sure to count it this time, will you? Gee, what does that say when, uh... We need to give our transports time to escape. Take out those Imperial probe droids. Be careful not to shoot our own turrets. What does it say about Dash Rendar when he figures that the Rebels are gonna stiff him on, uh... On payment. Now! Got him! There's a radar in the lower right screen, which you can almost barely see. Oh, can your fire, Mr. Skywalker. Now, I'm doing this part with most of the keyboard. I'm not sure. Oh, stop yelling at me. Oh my god, I did that without dying. That's the first time I've actually beaten it. Okay, I played it once before, and I died on this first stage. So this is... What inspired the Rogue Squadron series of games on the N64? And oh, ah, crap, that didn't go well. Also, you'll notice. Oh, he's lighting me up. All right, we're just going to try and come at this a different way. Hi, there's other people you could shoot at, you know. All right, so we're gonna try blasting down these this ATST, a scout walker. That's how I always used to know them. You had your big and old Imperial walkers, and you had these little scout walkers. We're gonna try and juke it and jive around the blaster fire from the other walker. Come on, bring it around. No, oh, no, that didn't go well. Oh man, he has got. We're gonna just. There's the other one. 
Anybody else any... Anybody else gonna do any damage to these walkers? Because I'd quite like some help. Alright, we got one. We got one. Now we got him from behind. Take a pull up and get out of the way. Now, Snow Speeder. All right. This is going to show my Star Wars nerdery. We're going to get a lot more into my Star Wars nerdery around here because I remember from growing up, I had a magazine that had like a technical manual on Rebel Starfighters. And one thing I remember from that is that the Snow Speeder. Oh boy, somebody is giving me a hard time, so we're going to. Try and get some distance here. The snow speeder isn't actually a freewheeling snub fighter, but actually is a uh, repulsor craft. So it has, oh my goodness, he's got me dead to rights. So you just got to be smart and not get in the line of sights of everyone at the same time. Missed them. All right. That's not a problem. We'll just wheel back around. Take out the probe droid. I'm going to pass on the harpoon for the moment. Yes, you have harpoons and tow cables. Cut to the left. I'll take the leader. If you can't harpoon and tow cable, let's just pull away from this guy. This is a lot of me talking about what I'm trying to do here. Because trying to fly with a mouse is exceptionally difficult. I am using my keyboard to... Let's see if we can't... Oh my god. I don't know, that didn't go well. Because I'm so used to like modern shooters where, you know, push up to pull up and push down to... So, I am trying... Oh, how'd I lose the damned cable? How many, how many tow cables do I have? All right, now, I'm holding down on A and S, pulling hard left on my mouse. Or at least as hard left as I've got room for on my mouse. How many more passes do I have to make on this thing? Wow, that got him. That went well. Yeah, your W, A, and S, and D keys seem to be doing a good job of, um, what's it called? Um, rudders and gas and, oh my Jesus, gyp-sticking force. I'm not firing any harpoons. There's too many of them. Fire now. Too fast. What do you mean they're too fast? They're basically stationary. So am I, though. Skybox could use a little work. Now that I'm looking around it, you can kind of see where the skybox kind of starts and ends. Or try and light him up like a Christmas tree. Or... Oh, no, they got me. 
was gonna say, it's not a Christmas tree in Star Wars, it's a life day tree. Let's get that right. The per well, then get out of the goddamn way, son. Or force dam, or... I don't know, there's probably... Blasting, or... There's probably... Lots of... Star Wars profanities that I don't know, but... Nope. Float under him. Got the probe droid. Now we're going to... This takes a lot of concentration because you don't want to... Float up into his line of sight. Because of that. But you also gotta... Ah, there we go. Can I get the... There we go. Load up over him. Oh, that was close. I don't know how we missed him. Gonna make another pass around the ATST AT 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 at. Oh. Nope. Set for position three. Steady. And they are lighting me up. We're doing okay though. Presenting a very good target for these guys though. You know, the rest of Rogue Group is more than welcome to try and help. Hey, who's that you are? Fire our food now. Hang on, let's get back around. Fire good shot, hope you will attach. Good shot, Jensen. Now, this is the actual Battle of Hoth. Soundtrack, I should mention, or score. Come on, one more pass. That got him. Yeah, I know I keep using the same lines. There wasn't a lot. It was, it was all Wedge and Jansen that did this shit anyway. Why am I out here killing, uh... Does Zev get one, too? I mean, he's still got the shield generator, but... Uh, okay, this is the first time I've ever passed this level. I'm excited, I'm excited. I got three bonus lives for three challenge points. Now I'm up to six lives, so huzzah! That's a good start. That is a very good start, considering how I thought this was going to go. Now, these sorts of cutscenes weren't in the N64 version. I'm through messing around out here. Fire up the ship, I'm coming in. How far away were the shield generators from the damn hangar bay? Also, why do I get the feeling that whoever the gunner is is just going to screw on off and we're not going to have his help in this level? The Empire has destroyed the main generator. The shield This isn't even sealed and we can't take off. This is the Battle of Yavin music. I know this m Okay, fine. All right. You must activate this. Oh, I have to hit enter to the switches on the lower level to restore power to the shield doors. Swell. This isn't even the right damn music. All right, so I've never made it this far, so I have no idea what the controls are. Okay. So, so space is to activate. Jump is on my right mouse button, which won't screw me up at all. I love the drawing distance on this. It is lit. Oh, uh, control, left control. It's fire along with left mouse button. So, all right, let's run around. Well, oh. hey, Han, old buddy, you want to help me? Um, also.
No crosshairs does make things a little difficult that I thought I saw. There. It does do a little bit of auto-aiming, so that's nice. Uh, we are losing a bit of help, but that's not too, too bad at the moment. So I just, I think I have to kind of look through the alcoves to see where I'm going. Kind of get the feeling I have to go up there at some point, but. Oh my goodness, the mouse is also good. Oh my god, how am I going to do this? Mouse also moves me. It doesn't just turn. It moves me as well if I'm going forward or back. Left and uh, A and D are strafe. I forward and back is normal. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass to control. Boxes go anywhere? Oh, the boxes are destructible. That's oh, I got ten health. That's nice. Oh, I already figured out what this is. There, see? Alright, so. 10 health and, uh. 20 health. Oh, I didn't want to pick that up then. Anything in here? No, it's just a, a red back to tank. Uh, how do I get out? There we go. So there's nothing that way. Always go right doesn't always go right. Ah! You guys are gonna hate these puns. Uh, did I ever finish my... There's a Wampa in... There are three Wampas in there. Can I kill him? Because he's got something in there. I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm hitting him through there. What happens if I hit this? Bad things happen if I do this. This is slightly more harrowing than the time that I had to face, uh... How many barons? And four barons. In, um... God, they don't die! This is worse than the time I had to face four barons and doom! Or the cyber demon and doom, or... Oh, I got one! Fortunately, they're slow and slightly less threatening than they are in um, movies. Now, this is actually factually accurate because in a deleted scene, our deleted scene still canon. Now, um, Shadows of the Empire is no longer canon. Oh, got them all. Shadows of the Empire is no longer canon. Shadows of the Empire. Uh, do I have, like, a different weapon? It said Seekers, but, I mean, it's just, like, do I have two, more than one weapon? Oh, look, I got something called a Seeker. All right, all right, all right. See? Now, in a deleted scene to The Empire Strikes Back, and, um, I believe mentioned in what was... The expanded universe at that point in time has changed a little bit. I can see you behind there. I'm gonna shoot you a bit. I love how they just... Oh, I'm getting shot. Throw my hands up in the air. Oh, no. Look at that. I love that. I love little touches like that in video games. Stupid nonsensical, but still fun. You can't take video games seriously all the damn time. What's behind these boxes? I was going to say, watch it be a Wampa. Now, I assume that the little laser ticker at the bottom right... I'm just going to let load up a bit. I'm assuming that, well, the lower it gets, the less punch that one of my, uh, that my blaster has. Which is an interesting take on the, on cooldown mechanics, because, you know, how many times have you seen cooldowns where it's been like... We got a challenge point, which is a silver thing. Alright, let's... Is there anything worth dealing with? Oh, they've got a um, seeker thing in there. So, okay, let's, let's.
Can we circle strafe them? Can we circle strafe these guys? This has got to be... By the way, my... Star Wars technical, Rebel Alliance technical manual that I had mentioned previously only was starships. So I could, if I could find it, I could be able to rhyme off all sorts of facts about starships, but, um, blasters, I don't know. How, what does the Seeker do? Okay, that really probably, it probably helped, but... There's a fair whack of auto-aim on this, too. I, I figure I should point that out now. It's like... Oh, I picked up some Seekers. There, I got them all. Now, in my uncanny ability to start and stop stories, I had stopped talking about... Uh, alright. Let's go through this door. Oh. This is... I've already come this way. Alright. I guess I could go through that door without a switch. Um, I started and stopped telling the story about Wampas in Echo Base. Which is, again, I mentioned, at the time was canon. Whether it still is, because it wasn't in the movie directly, but it was in a cutscene for Empire Strikes Back. Where, uh, C-3PO had, um, in one of the deleted scenes for Empire. What C-3PO ends up doing is pulling off a warning sign or a warning sticker from one of the doors in Echo Base as they're being chased by the Imperial Store Troopers. Oh, we'll get him from long range. Um, so yeah, it's the Imperial Storm Troopers... We're chasing him through Echo Base. You remember that scene in... Uh, I'm not sure why there's a thing... Oh, because there's a challenge point. No, I've died. I should not have jumped. Okay. Nobody panic. We can do that again without dying this time. See? There. There. We did that. We... I shot you once already. No, nothing that way. Alright, let's go this way. Something about ledges makes me leery. Probably the f fact that I just fell off of one. Ah, we'll help scream! Yes! Awesome balls! That's awesome! Okay, no, seriously, the inaccurate music is starting to drive me uh, a bit nuts. Stop going forward, Dash. That's the problem. Is you just any little twitch on the mouse? Let's pick up the challenge point. Any little twitch on the mouse, and it just wants to go and do its own damn thing. So I'm being very, very overly comically cautious. Because the mouse seems to be both movement and aiming, which is going to be the death of me at some point. Especially... Why are you aiming that way? Aim at the turret, you idiot! Are you hitting the turret? There you go. Now, let's... Oh, well, I guess you killed the stormtrooper, so that's alright. Nobody said that Dash Rendar was that bright. Okay, there we go. See, we got through it in one piece. Ish. I mean, I okay. I did lose a life. Alright, so what's this? And how many storm... Oh, none. Oop! Alright, we're gonna go down. Stage complete. Oh, yay! Alright, I did something successfully. Um, do I have to push the button to go out? There we go. Uh, this is probably taking longer than it would most other people, but this is also legitimately... I was gonna say, it's legitimately the first time I played... Down, how, many, how many times have I said that with games that I've played on this channel? Uh, 
Oh, no, I want Seeker. Shoot him. Can I shoot the guy up top? No. Shoot him. Turn around. I saw a probe droid there. All right, shoot up. It is it is actually kind of like, well, no, Doom in that. I got shot from somewhere. Did anyone else see that? Because I swear there was a blaster bolt that went by my head. See that that peak in the music there is when Wedge says, look at the size of that thing. Cut the chatter, Red 2, accelerate to attack speed. You know, that part of the, of the Battle of Yavin. That's how much I watch Star Wars. Is I could tell when things are happening based on bloody musical cues. That's when they're taking off from Yavin. Standby alert, Death Star approaching. An estimated time to firing range, 50. Minutes. Alright, and got him. All wings report in. There, there you go. I see, I used to know what order they reported in. I well, used to be the world's biggest Star Wars nerd. No bullshit. Oh, I found something here. Because there's a switch. I don't mean Nintendo. What's this button do? It's... We'll shoot him a bit. We'll shoot him a bit. Who wants some? They don't want none. I'll pick up the health. Now there were six switches, Lebo said, right? So I, I counted six as I went around here. I also missed the obvious AJ. Oh, the power has been restored. Find your way to the ship. Fuck me. I don't know how I found my way here, Lebo. How am I supposed to find my way to the ship? Oop. Hi. Okay. Um... Actually, if I'm finding... Well, actually, no. I shouldn't be going the way I came, because... Because that didn't get me anywhere. There was not one of my sh ships when I was coming the other direction, right? Right. Well, fuck it. Let's do this! I guess I don't need the health, but I could use the challenge point. Alright. He's got good jump range. He's got good ups. No, I went the left the last time, so let's go right. This great man repeatedly says, Always go right. I'm glad that they have railings here. It's, it's good to see that the Rebel Alliance does not skimp on health and safety. I guess I'm supposed to go this way. Oh yeah, there's still dudes there. I'm going to try not to get shot by the, that thing, the, the turrets, this time. Oh, okay. You're just so used to coming around the corner and there being dudes there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Really? Alright. I don't have time to deal with your shit. I'm just running for the door. We'll take the health, though. Honestly, why would stupid rebel tech? First, the power's off, so the door won't open. Then, the then the hallway with the ice hallway and the stuff and things. I English, okay? Falls apart as I'm trying to leave the. Oh, for fuck's sake! Okay, there's something up there. Oh, Seeker. Okay, nobody panic. Oh, 
Okay, maybe using cover is not such a great idea. Am I at a seeker already? Oh, for... How did I run out of seeker stuff? What's that up there? I need seeker stuff. No, that didn't do me any good. I'm guessing. I'm barely hitting this guy. And what I need to do is get up. There, that works better. No, nope, that didn't work. Because trying to shoot its legs isn't doing me any good. There, we, there No, that's health. Oh, 31 health. Oh, crap. I need health. Yeah, health would be nice right about now. 10. 10. I'll use the top up of Seekers as well. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a full health. Great. Not that it does me any good, but... We'll just step up and, to and shoot him down. That was that where that went well. I was thinking I'd just start and stop talking because it's like, oh my god, it's gonna kill me. It didn't kill me. I right, threw the fresh the open door. Uh, I was gonna say, should I shoot the boxes? No, because behind the boxes is going to be a Wampa. I just know that it's going to be a Wampa. See? Of course it's a Wampa. I thought we were going to shoot him from range a bit, so... Oh, look, there's a challenge point that I really... You know what? I've gotten all the other ones, but you know what? I'm starting to think that, you know, it might not be worth it. Oh, there, we got him. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't notice the last time with all the Wampas, but it looks like he's just keeling over from a heart attack when you shoot him like that, you know? Alright, we're going to take out the snow troopers here. Speaking of heart attacks, that looked like one. It's a good thing I went looking for the health. Oh. What kind of outfit are you running here, Lebo? You've just let them onto my damn ship. Uh. Nope, nope, there we go. We're taking off, but we're not flying past Darth Vader, because as much as Dash Rendar is a Han Solo analog, he's not that much of a Han Solo analog. So we picked up four challenge points and got no lives for it. Thanks, Swell. Thank you, game. Aren't you just a deer? But that will do it for this episode of Shadows of the Empire. Thanks very much for joining me in this examination of a classic Star Wars video game. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, follow on social media, maybe share it on social media. So until the next time, I'm Unsilent. Thanks very much for joining me. If you would be so kind as to do that YouTubing jazz, and we will see you next time.